Welcome to GILD Academy. From this video, I am going to start Revit Architecture Tutorial. So in this video, I will tell you, I will discuss you about user interface. So whenever you click on the application and this welcome window will appear. So in this we have three parts that is projects this is projects and this is families and this is resources so in project we have open new and these are the templates if you have any created file so from this command you can open the open just click on it and browse browse it from where you have and just open it okay from new here one window will open and in this we have these templates you can select from here that is construction architecture structure mechanical these templates are available here also so you just see here construction template architecture template structure template and mechanical template and some more templates also available in this uh, in the library of revit so from uh, for that you have to browse it and you'll get two options if your project is in feet and inches you have to select imperial and if your project is in meters so you have to select this folder so i'm just selecting this imperial so we have here some more templates that is commercial in construction default template and electrical mechanical plumbing residential structures and these are the templates as per requirement and as per the project you have to select the template so i'm just selecting here this architecture template why because uh, we are going to study about uh, architecture and so that's the reason i just select here and then press ok if you press ok then you will enter into the revit software so i just cancel it first of all we will study about this welcome window so we have here some recent documents so i worked on these documents so that's the reason it shows the options here so next we have families in revit we have a concept of family that is uh, for example if we consider a door or any wall so the type of walls all the type of walls or all the type of doors is considered as one family so we can create families also like uh, in AutoCAD or 3ds Max we'll create some uh, products or some equipments like that we can create uh, in Revit also and for that we have to go to families so if you want to open already created family so you just click on this open and just browse where it is available and then press ok so that family will be open so a new if you want to create a new so you can create uh, by selecting here and you have to select the template and uh, for that we have some multiple options and as per our requirement we have to select for example we are working on uh, to create a door so we have door templates and we can use for that see here this is to cut in see if you want to create a window we have here a window template and if you press ok uh, the required commands for creating a window will find that so i just cancel this and then we have a concept of new conceptual mass so we can create a different shaped buildings are different shaped mass and by using that we can create a building like we have different shaped 
shopping malls or commercial buildings or residential buildings and for that you have to create a mass and that mass we can create in this conceptual mass so next we have Autodesk Seek so uh, it is an option which directly landed into a Autodesk website so if you select here you will go to Autodesk website and from there we can select we will have multiple families and we can select from there and we can download it and we can use this to our projects so this but we have to register it in Autodesk so we have this recently opened families and here we have resources in resources we have uh, it is connected to the internet and it shows uh, something which is new in uh, Revit and help and some some videos are there so if you can you can take a help by using these resources so next I'm going to an architecture tablet so I just select here so it is directly open an architecture tablet so this is a user interface of Revit Revit architecture tablet so we have the left top side we have application button in this we have some common commonly used options so new open save save as export all these options and in this we have some two buttons uh, this is recent documents what are the recent documents which we worked it showed here and this is the open documents and this is the settings of now if you select here you will find some settings graphical setting file location rendering and all these settings will be you will find okay and then we have if you select here we'll exit from the rabbit and then this is the quick access toolbar and we have some commands in this quick, uh, quick access toolbar we have this setting also these are the options if you don't want this new so, so you can select here and that new option is and up here and if you want that you just click here and it is available and see we have customized quick access toolbar and we have uh, we can change this uh, this location of any command and we have some uh, partitions also in that we can change that partitions also if you want to delete you can delete also okay so you just select you, you by using this up and down arrows and by using if you if you need any partition here so you can this partition or if you want to delete the passive partition you can delete any command you can delete here okay press ok and so if you want to keep this quick access toolbar to below ribbon so you can like this and as per your comfort you can use auto desk revit will considered as project uh, like uh, auto, in AutoCAD it will find uh, it will take as drawing file drawing one drawing two like that it will take project one project two project three three and so on and the floor plan is open and so here we have some uh, commands which is related to architecture and structure if you want if you're working on the structure or MEP you'll find here the options and these are the insert and all those very essential commands you'll find here modifying in any any tab you'll find some panels in that panels you'll find commands so here we have in architecture we have build build panel circulation panel model panel this is a room and area opening datum and this work plane and this is a properties window properties palette in this we'll have some properties which is related to particular command in which we are working so now we we are not entered into any command so it shows the properties of this floor plan because we are in the floor plan it shows scaling shows the display mode and all those properties so the next thing is this project browser it plays a very much important role in the Revit so you can switch to 
any view like uh, uh, if you uh, if you want a uh, floor plan that is level 1 level 2 all the ceiling plans or elevations are 3d wherever you want to, you just select here and you'll you'll go to that if you want to go to level 2 this is level 2 it's level 1 if you want to go to elevations like this this is the east elevation north elevation like this you'll see the elevations so here we have 3d options also 3d option also and here also we find these options some options so this is a 3d because it's unnew so once you can select this 3d view it will find this here so we didn't draw anything that's the reason it shows empty so i'll go to floor plan and some graphical we used uh, commands available here see it is scaling and it is see uh, detail level and this is uh, visual styles and this sun path and this shadow crop uh, hiding options all those things so this is user interface of uh, revit and from the uh, from next video i'll teach you the levels and grades so if you have any queries you just comment it and you will get a response within 24 hours and uh, like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe thank you